Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at the 23rd installment of what I like to call What I Eat Wednesdays, where we take a look at some of those What I Eat in a Day as a Fat Person videos on TikTok. My hair is getting completely insane. Um, I've just been too lazy to cut it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In order to properly examine these What I Eat in a Day videos, I must first apply comb to mustache. What I eat in a day as a fat person not focused on weight loss. Was that a bunch of uh, panda droppings, perhaps? Oh, mini corn dogs. Panda droppings, mini corn dogs. What's the difference, really? Granola with blueberries, raspberries, and milk. Some ice cream pie. What the heck, that's weird. Is that just whipped cream with some other stuff on it? It looks like one of those turtle pies or whatever the heck. Lentils with rice, salsa, and avocado. What is rice salsa? No, I'm just kidding. There should be a comma there. Pan-seared tofu with vegan fish sauce, soy sauce, and sriracha. Vegan fish sauce, what is that? Is that when you just let some soy sauce sit out until it goes bad and starts smelling like fish? <laughs> Serve that baby with rice noodles and broccoli. Rice noodles, I never heard of such a thing. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Oh, she said it twice. All right, love you too, bye. Love you too, bye. All right, that seems like a pretty succinct day. Let's take a look. All right, you started the day off with some mini corn dogs. I'm going to assume that they were vegan because you are vegan. And last time I thought that you were eating meat. Uh, it wasn't really meat, you fooled me. Hopefully it had a decent protein source in there. I'm not a fan of tofu or any of that stuff, but if that's the only protein that you're eating, then I will just consider that like any other protein source. So we got that bad boy to start, and then you went with granola with blueberries, raspberries, and milk. I'm guessing vegan milk. Then you had an ice cream pie, which, you know, is a terrible idea. Uh, that was looking like it was in the early hours, like breakfast hours, you were having pie with ice cream on it. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend that for sure. And then I believe around lunch, we had some lentils with rice, salsa, and avocado. All right. Later on, you had some tofu with fish sauce, rice noodles, and broccoli. That actually sounds like a fairly balanced, fairly complete meal. Like I said, I don't really consider tofu the best protein source, but you're vegan, so it's the best you're gonna do. Hmm, yes, yes. Way too many processed fried carbs via the corn dogs, but they did have some kind of protein, so you get a point there. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and award a point for the tofu with fish sauce and for the lentils. You know what? I have come to a decision. On this particular day of eating, I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 10. Am I getting soft in my old age? My extremely advanced age, maybe. I don't know. Next, what I eat in a day as a fat girl who doesn't focus on weight loss, day three being vegan. All right, everybody's going vegan these days, huh? Personally, I would never be vegan. Um, I would just be vegetarian or something, so I get some sort of animal protein via eggs, milk, and cheese, but that's just me. But I eat in a day as a fat girl who doesn't focus on weight loss. I got a caramel macchiato without the drizzle and added my own pumpkin spice. It Caramel macchiato without the drizzle added your own pumpkin spice. Okay, uh, luckily that's vegan, huh? 
Good thing those sugary drinks are vegan, huh? Are they really? I bet there's some sort of animal carcass parts in there somehow. Some sort of beaver anus used to flavor it or something. <laughs> that sounds like a joke, but that's actually true. There's some sort of secretions that come out of the rear end of a beaver uh, that they use to make like artificial vanilla, I believe it is, or some sort of artificial sweetener flavor. It was so bomb. After we went grocery shopping, I got these chili limon chips. They were so good. Chili limon chips, okay. Is that how you eat the chili limon chips? That's how I eat them too. I lay on my back and I just put it in my mouth. It feels like you're gonna choke, you know, when you're laying on your back and eating. It feels unsafe. The video just ends right there. So I had some chili limon. Then I had orange chicken and these veggie gyozas later. Orange chicken and veggie something or other. Hold on, let's hear that part again. So good. Then I had orange chicken and these veggie gyozas later. Veggie kiosas? I have no clue. I'm just gonna put veggie thing. I made a chicken sandwich. And you made a chicken sandwich with, uh, what is that? Chocolate sauce on it <laughs> on the left. What is that? I'm sure it's not. It's actually probably some sort of mole. You know your boy knows about moles, right? Not just guacamole. There are several different kinds of mole, but it looked like chocolate sauce. I normally slather mine with sugar. Then I got really snacky, so I ate some jerky. That was beyond meat jerky. Uh-oh. Look at the way he's looking at you as he feeds you. Do we have a situation here? What is that, okra? I see a bag of okra there. And then some okra. Man, y'all be feeding each other a lot, huh? And vegan chocolate chip cookies from Trader Joe's. Your uh, boyfriend or whatever seems to really be having a good time with those cookies. What the heck? <laughs> Look at him. He's like dancing. He's holding it up in the air. He's caressing it. All right, and that's the end of that one. Let's add it up. Okay, we started our day off with a caramel macchiato, and I believe she said she added her own pumpkin spice. You have truly gone down a dangerous path, my friend. We're adding our own stuff to the drinks now. It didn't have enough wacky stuff in there. Anyway, that blood sugar spike is going to make you hungry for more sugar shortly thereafter and all day. Disrecommend on my part. And then we had some chili limon chips. Okay, some processed carbs. Then we had some orange chicken and a veggie thing. It was some sort of Chinese food it looked like. Processed fried carbs. Then later on you had a chicken sandwich. Although I thought you were vegan now, so that must have been some sort of vegan chicken. Then you had some fake meat jerky. And then some okra. And some vegan chocolate chip cookies. It's a good thing that all this chocolate and sugar and sweet chemicals are vegan. Okay, let me see. Okay, I have deliberated long enough, and I've come to a decision. On this particular day, I'm going to give this one a 2 out of 10. We had a lot of processed carbs, fried carbs, and sugary stuff on that particular day. Next, what is he, dancing with the cookie? <laughs> He's like holding it up in the sky. <laughs> oh my goodness, this dude really likes his cookies. What I eat in a day as a fat person trying to f Why do they often start off like that? What I eat in a day as a fat person... Must we always strike a pose? Must we always be so fashionable? I submit that we must. I'm not disagreeing with it at all. I love it. My little twist and turn didn't really do this justice. I don't know what I'm doing. Fix my relationship with food and binging. Okay, you're trying to fix your relationship with food and a binging. All right, all right, sounds good. Let's see how you did. Last night I went to Publix and it was like one of my first times being there. And you went to Publix for the first time. I think that's a store in the UK or something. Okay, so looks like you're having a salad uh, with a, a pretty good amount of what looks like a creamy mayonnaise-based dressing there. For those that don't know, most dressings are either mayonnaise-based or oil-based. It was insane. The deli was crazy. I picked up this chef's salad and I chopped up this banana pepper. All right, chef's salad and banana pepper. Well, I can tell you right now that um, that salad looks like it's using iceberg lettuce and there is not one nutrient in that. <laughs> Any kind of other leafy green, 
uh, would be better than iceberg lettuce. Maybe get yourself a spring mix that has some baby spinach and arugula in there. By the way, I'm just splitting hairs. There's nothing too wrong with this salad. It's not breakfast food, but it's gonna be okay. This yeah, that's not too bad for a breakfast, you know? Whatever, it looked like there was some ham in there too, so that's good. Then for a snack, I had some watermelon, which I also picked up from Publix Deli. Then Some watermelon as a snack, okay. You may not realize this, because uh, watermelon seems like it's just mainly water, but there's actually a lot of nutrients in there. Me and Kevin shared some Doritos, and we were watching some anime. Normally, I... We were watching some anime and eating some Doritos. At the bottom, she says, Normally, I avoid things like chips because they tend to lead to a binge. Yeah, I was going to say, um, if you're trying to heal your relationship with food or whatever, I don't think the Doritos uh, are the route to go. That's more like being in an abusive relationship with food. I avoid things like chips because they tend to lead to a binge, but, you know, I was just feeling it. And mm-hmm. Oh, uh, so normally you wouldn't eat them because they lead to a binge, but this time you were, quote, just feeling it. That's interesting. I wouldn't normally have a line of cocaine since I am addicted to it, but, you know, I was really feeling it. Of course you were feeling it. It's addictive food. That's the whole point there. Luckily, it didn't lead to a binge. For dinner, I was super excited. I bought some cabbage, and I hadn't had this in a while, but I made an egg roll in a bowl. In mine, I just basically put cabbage, onions, and hamburger meat, and then... Cabbage, onions, and hamburger meat. All right, are we going keto here or what? I don't see any carbs. And I added some sriracha and sour cream on top. Um, it's just good. Don't question it. All right, so you had some cabbage with some ground beef. I mix it it doesn't look so good though anyways i had a really good day of eating bye all right that wasn't a whole lot of food for that day um if you ate like that i'm guessing that you are currently losing weight let me take a look all right you started the day off with a chef's salad with banana pepper um normally i give people a hard time for having too many carbs but if you don't have enough carbs then you're gonna go down the path of keto and you're gonna need to eat a lot more fat so don't go no carb but then not eat more fat. If you're gonna go the keto route, you need to make a lot of adjustments to your diet. So um, yeah, I would recommend just low carb personally. Okay, so that was okay. Then you had some watermelon, some Doritos, and some cabbage with ground beef. Okay, this is a difficult one to score. There's not a whole lot going on here. This is a very, very light day of eating and there are like no carbs other than the Doritos. I would not recommend that you use Doritos as the carb for your entire day. Like, each meal should have a little bit of carbs. Yeah, honestly, it's really hard to score this one. Um, all right, I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 10. The score was low because there were actually not enough carbs. As crazy as that is, you're like, man, make up your mind, guy. Make up your mind. Are carbs the devil or not? No. Just too many, and processed carbs are the devil. You still need to eat some carbs, unless you're going on a keto diet, so your body can run off of glucose or it can run off of ketones. If you don't take in enough carbs, you're gonna need to increase your fat intake by quite a bit. People on keto diets eat a ton of fat because your body is running off of ketones, fat. Next, what I eat in a day as a fat person that doesn't diet or focus on weight loss. All right, so we are dressed up, uh, presumably for Halloween. Maybe not, maybe we're just having some sort of mental break. Let's take a look. Okay. <laughs> she did the little dance move at the beginning, I like that. All right, what do we have here? Vans gluten-free waffles with bloobs and boysenberry jam. That's a pretty good amount of waffles there. All right, so it looks like some frozen processed carbs. Isn't boysenberry weird? Have you ever heard of that in any other context except like syrups and jams that you put on waffles and pancakes? What's a boysen? I caught the boys being silly. They are being silly. Look at the one on the right. Look at the look in that cat's eyes. <laughs> Oh, that is cute. The one is spooning the other one. Oh my goodness. Wow. 
Those cats are silly. Leftover drunken noodles and tofu. Drunken noodles. What does that mean? Is that just stuff that you eat because you were too drunk to comprehend what's happening? Applesauce. You just drink it right out of the container. I like that. Rice with veggies and beyond meat. All right, so some more fake processed meat. Love you, bye. All right, love you too, bye. Let's take a look at this day. Okay, so we started the day off with some processed frozen carbs via the waffles. They were gluten-free though. Damn that gluten. And then on top of it, we put some blueberries and boysenberry jam. A lot of sweet, syrupy, sugary juice. That's going to give you that blood sugar spike. Not just through the sugar, but also through the processed carbs, my friend. And then we had some drunken noodles with tofu. Then some applesauce. And then some rice with veggies and beyond meat. Even though the Beyond Meat is fake, and I don't recommend it, and it doesn't give you nearly the nutrition of real meat, you are vegan, so I will count that as your protein source. Okay, I've come to a decision. On this particular day, I'm going to give this one a... 2 out of 10. Next! What I eat in a day is a fat person trying to recover from binge eating, and I said that instead of binge eating recovery, because people get upset when I say that, and then don't eat up to their standards, so. Okay, so people get mad when you say you're in binge eating recovery and then you don't eat up to their standards. Well, that's not very supportive of them, is it? So for breakfast, I had pancakes, eggs, and bacon. For lunch, I made homemade chili with pancakes, eggs, and bacon, and then chili. All right, not too bad, except for those pancakes. And I think I saw some chocolate chips on those pancakes, my friend. Get those chocolate chips out of here. Cornbread. This was so good. And this oh, you got to have cornbread with that chili, of course. This was all the same bowl, but I packed it up and had it once I got to work because it was so hot. I see sodas sitting there, and you didn't mention them at all. For those of you that are trying to lose weight or recover from binge eating, um, I would recommend you don't drink sodas at all. And if you do, count it. Like, th this person isn't counting the soda at all. And a lot of people fall into that trap. They're like, I didn't really even eat anything today. But you drank like three Starbucks drinks, totaling like 8,000 calories of just pure sugar and chemicals. But I packed. See, there's a Sprite right there. It up and had it. And then there's an orange Fanta right there once I got to work because it was so hot. And then I had chicken nuggets and fries for dinner because I was so tired. Chicken nuggets and fries for dinner because you were so tired. I see. And that's gonna make you not tired? I bet you were tired from drinking that soda earlier. All right, and that concludes that day. Um, People aren't really eating a lot on these, huh? All right, so your breakfast was good, except a little too many pancakes there, and I would not have put the chocolate chips. Sugar first thing in the morning is always a bad idea. Like, I'm always saying that. Blood sugar spike, and then you're gonna be chasing the dragon of sugary sweets all day. And then you had some chili and cornbread. Yeah, I got nothing too negative to say about the chili and cornbread. That's a classic, dude. As long as you don't go nuts with the cornbread, I, I think you'll be pretty good. There's some meat in there, there's beans, you got cumin in there. Who doesn't love cumin? And then you neglected to tell us about the two sodas, but you should definitely be keeping track of that and counting that like you would any other calorie. In fact, it's just empty calories because it's just sugary liquid. I'm fairly certain that sodas are carbonated, so you don't realize how much sugar is in there. When a soda goes flat, all of a sudden it just tastes like syrup water, right? But when it's carbonated, like, you don't notice how much sugar is in that thing. And then you said you were tired, so you ate some chicken nuggets and french fries. That's a, that's a weird remedy to your sleepiness. All right, let me see. Let's add this sucker. Hmm. All right, I've come to a decision. There's actually not a lot of food here. You did not eat a lot. If this is what you ate all day only, you probably would lose weight. I don't know about the two sodas. That, that'd be, like, keep you teetering on the brink of not losing weight. But if you ditch those, 
I believe that eating like that would make you lose weight. I don't recommend the pancakes in the morning, of course, or the chicken nuggets or french fries, but uh, overall it wasn't a lot of volume. Therefore, I'm gonna have to give this one a two out of 10. Next. All right, and this video is titled, You Gained Five Pounds Just From Watching This Video. All right, I must warn you before we watch this next one, it is full of inordinate amounts of snark. The snarkiness meter is, is, is ready to ding, 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 ding on this one. The video is titled, You Gained Five Pounds Just By Watching This. What I eat in a day is a big fat fatty that forces skinny people to be fat just by existing. Okay, so you've got yourself a big old mason jar full of blueberry something or other, looks like. Big old smoothie. All right, I'm going to call that a blueberry smoothie. Risotto from McDonald's. What? The McDonald's by you has a risotto? Dude, what the heck? Wow, that's a fancy McDonald's. When I asked for a lobster biscuit at my McDonald's, they looked at me like I was insane. I was like, surely you've got a beef Wellington back there somewhere. <laughs> and then they threw me out and called the police. <laughs> 19 pieces of pizza from McDonald's. See, they're being snarky. And also, your McDonald's has pizza too? What the heck? This is like a full-on restaurant over there. Honestly, this is interesting. I've never seen any of these items at a McDonald's before. 50 root beers because I've never heard of water. See? You see, Fat Vegana? You don't have to be so snarky. What's with the snark? 50 root beers? Obviously, you didn't have 50 root beers or 19 pieces of pizza. You had 49 root beers and 18 pieces of pizza, clearly. Anything more than that would just be too freaking much, dude. Is she like being sarcastic because she knows I'm gonna review this and so she's like sticking it to me? That'd be funny. That's a little narcissistic of me to assume that anybody knows who the hell I am, huh? Eyes got all big from that root beer. That'll do it to you. That root beer puts a little pep in my step too every time. All right, and then we got some deep fried tofu. Alrighty, did you bread that sucker? You just threw it right into the oil. I don't know. All right, so your protein source has been stripped of its nutrients by deep frying it. Although tofu is, eh, you know, it's whatever anyway. Pad Thai with fake veggies and tofu from McDonald's. Fake veggies? And what the hell, your McDonald's has Pad Thai as well? What the heck? Where are you? Why are you saying fake veggies? Oh, because it's fast food? Well, I've got no comment on that, but uh, I wouldn't eat anything from any of these establishments personally. So pad thai with tofu from McDonald's. Some spicy fried rice also from McDonald's. What is this McDonald's? Are you kidding? Are she making all this up? Is this to be funny? I don't know. Tempura green beans. All right. I would recommend that we don't bread and deep fry the green beans and maybe just cook them in a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper in the oven. Uh, would probably be much better here. Go forth and be fat. Go in peace, my friend. Yes, you go forth and be fat as well. <laughs> um, blessings be with you. Sister, mm, she didn't say love you by on that one. Normally, Fat Vegan is pretty good about that, so I'm just going to assume that you do love me and that you did want to say bye. So, love you too, bye. I don't care if you wanted to say it or not. Gotcha. Love you. I love you. Take that. Then you can't really discount what I have to say as much, huh? Because I'm like being nice and loving and stuff. So, you're like, dang it, he's actually trying to help. Oh, I hate that. All right, let's take a look at this day and add it up. All right, we started the day off with a blueberry smoothie. Um, I'm guessing there was too much sugar in that. Hopefully the smoothie was just blueberries and milk. Yes, the cow kind of milk. 
even though you're vegan, you need to have cow milk. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, then you have some risotto from McDonald's. Dude, this McDonald's is freaking lit, homie. <laughs> they, they have everything. They got Italian food. They got Chinese food. They got uh, Thai food. Oh, my goodness. What? Okay, they, so you had the risotto from McDonald's, the pizza from McDonald's, root beer, deep fried tofu, pad thai with tofu from McDonald's, fried rice from McDonald's, and tempura green beans uh, from some other place. I saw that it was in a different kind of basket. So let's see, you got any protein happening in here? Let me see you. Uh, a little bit of tofu right there. Um, everything else is just like processed carbs from a fast food place. Hmm, okay. You have like what appears to be two protein sources happening, but all this stuff is like fried, processed, fast food. All right, I have made a decision. On this day, I'm going to give this one a 1 out of 10. The 1 out of 10 is because there were a lot of uh, like processed, fried, fast food type of stuff in there. So I took away a point from one of the protein sources. That's my rationale. It makes damn good sense, and you know it does. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.